it's our first summer video here at IMA. Over on the left, you see cellist Jamie Sieber, the artist Link next to her, executive director Ann Hagler, Emily Lichter, and of course, our dog Ami, who figures quite a bit during our summer camps. In our last episode, you saw the final day of construction. It was just a little bit of it. And we're gonna segue into the teardown of that barrier, which was what was protecting all the instruments on the other side. This is Todd, and uh, because I was actually asleep, and kindly filmed this portion. We've been waiting for this day so we could unveil everything on the other side and get ready for camps. The song you're listening to, by the way, was recorded at our first recording camp in 2006. Fire, let me be one for change. Let me do it. We haven't let anything get in the way of recording. That was Link with her pals Jerry and Frederick on her upcoming album. Well, Anne and Emily are setting drums up in the recording kiosk, which is the garage. And I'd like to mention that this quilt was made by Tania Wallach of the group Copper Women. They recorded their first album at IMA West, which I produced. This is June Millington, by the way. And here's a clip from one of their shows in Bodega. Tania is on the left back to IMA East. And now we see what was behind that barrier. Link is doing the final mocking, and Anne is getting some help from our pal, Tony Armstrong Jr., who flew up from Florida to help out. Of course, Ami's in on the whole thing, and we are moving right along. This beautiful boat was donated by some women from Maine. It's very heavy and just looks gorgeous in the summer sunlight. We have radiant heat in these concrete floors for the winter, but have discovered that the girls do a lot of their creative thinking, lounging about, the 21st century rockers. They like to do their assignments lying on the floor with music paper and thinking about songs and writing melodies. Um, so we're very grateful for these thick rugs. And everything has to be wiped off because so much dust is over everything. So just sit back and enjoy watching somebody else do the work. We are now going to go through the days pretty quickly. This is our intern Gabby with Ann and Dan, and they are securing the left side of the PA system. Ann and Gabby in the bunkhouse. This is the Sweethearts of Rhythm, an early all women's big band. We like the girls to know about who came before. Gabby's helping Ann put chairs back into the barn, and we are moving quite a few things around. Um, as you see, we've got a big barn and a smaller barn out in front of the house. Okay. Clean sound starts with a clean fair. Well, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Dan vacuuming the PA console and also tuning the room. What? That sound bugs you? Really? It's got to be done. And of course, I'm totally enjoying being able to video a room that is so nice and wide open. 
Gabby actually attended teen camp in 2005 and our very first recording camp in 2006. Here is the room the following day. It's getting really nice now and I just can't stop shooting this room from different angles. Studios, performance area, and looking out through the door through which all the lumber and equipment was loaded. And here comes another intern to help. This is Rebecca. Rebecca attended camp last year in 2007 and was returning this year, but is now <laughs> helping Gabby Mold removal? mop the yurts. I think so. So have you done this professionally? I'm thinking about it as a career path. We've had these yurts for about three seasons, and I guess they're starting to get mold on them, so I'm very grateful to Gabby and Rebecca for helping out. Dinner that night, and our first preteen camper has come in. That is Alexis with her mom, Linda. They've come in from Magdalena, New Mexico. <laughs> Choosing your bunk could be a pretty big decision, so she's getting a jump on it. And here she is enjoying the space. Thank goodness for those rugs. Of course, Ami is <laughs> definitely making sure she's got her new best friend. <laughs> Everyone's having a great time, including her mom. And that rug just comes in so handy. You're going to see a lot of it. And now we go right into the next day. Isabella has come by to help clean up. I am playing back the storm that I recorded last night. And uh, they've made themselves right at home. Let's try maybe um, switching. And here is Joy. Joy Cons has also attended team camp and the first two recording camps. She's also interned for two years in a row and is now the vocal instructor for this preteen camp. That is a photo of Audrey Lord, who was on our very first advisory board in 1986. This is again the quilt that Tania Wallach made in California, which is of course an homage to our foremothers. And speaking of foremothers, Isabella's grandmother came by. She's in the bunkhouse. Finally, preteen camp 2008. I'm Coralie. Yeah. I'm Alexis. I'm Izzy. Hey, I'm Shayla. I'm, I'm Lynn. I'm and Janelle Burdell, our percussion and drum instructor. You are so cooperating. Awesome. I love you. Fantastic. Well, everyone wave it. Great job. I do. And then we're gonna rock and roll! <laughs> they have no idea. The old time honored way. Janelle and Gabby set up the drums the night before. Don't they look beautiful? And Ami is ready to greet the girls. There is our final intern on the right, Ali. Our circle is complete because Ayla has arrived. She's on the far left of the screen and here she is laughing. In a good mood, everybody is in a great mood. This is a wonderful group. We like the girls to have a little bit of independence starting the very first night. So we teach them how to run the PA themselves so they can get up and just start jamming. Everything that you guys said is after it hits the microphone. The microphone captures the actual movement of the wave, then it sends it to the electronics, okay? Now we're going to control the electronics, all right? Because it's a one song. Yeah. Well, you want to turn the mics on, Remember, you can never have too much fun.